Boundaries are so important in all kinds of relationships. And so here I want to talk about what is the one missing thing that most people don't think about when they think about boundaries. I didn't even know this and I've been working with boundaries for a long time. So when I learned about really how to set a solid boundary with somebody, the first thing, of course, is we decide, number one, do we want to? Yes or no. Number two, do I have the time, money, energy, resources to do it? Yes or no. If either of those are no, we stop right there. Number three, if both of those are a yes, are there any boundaries or are there any parameters that I need to put around it in particular? So for example, if I'm going to go take care of my sister's kids, do I say, sure, I can take care of them as long as they're fed or as long as you pick them up by five. But the biggest thing, once that's set and agreed on, are what are the consequences if people don't follow through on their end of the bargain? So in other words, if I say, sure, I'll take care of your kids as long as they're fed, we both need to agree on a consequence if the kids aren't fed before I get there. So for example, I'm gonna buy pizza and put it on your credit card, or I won't take care of them again, or I'm gonna feed them ice cream. <laughs> whatever it is. That's the key to finding a really healthy boundary is to actually set a consequence ahead of time. Because then if that's agreed upon, we are both on the same page. And if something changes, I have no reason to get resentful, angry, or hurt because then we've made an agreement that I get to follow through on that allows that boundary to really stay, to be solid, to be permanent and for both of us to have clear communication. So what do you need in order to create a more clear boundary in your life? Maybe around your volunteering, maybe around your relationship, maybe around some things that you keep agreeing to do, but then you use more time, money, energy, effort than you originally anticipated. How can you create a healthy parameter and set up the consequence so everyone's on the same page when it's executed.